Hi there. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can download, install, and configure Hive OS to mine SafeX Cache. Uh, for those not familiar with Hive OS, it is an all in one operating system based on Linux that is purely dedicated to mining cryptocurrencies. So it's a almost like a plug and play solution. You download the operating system, you install it onto a USB or a hard drive plug it into your mining uh, mining rig and then everything should connect with the web interface that I will show you later. So there's a few assumptions I'm going to have to make here for this tutorial. So first of all, I assume that you're, you have a dedicated mining rig and that you have a 16 gigabyte or above USB drive or SSD. You have a USB, dri USB drive imaging software downloaded and installed. Uh, I will be using Etcher for this tutorial, but there are other ones such as Rufus or Win32 Disk Imager. Uh, you will need $10 worth of Bitcoin. Alternatively, if you use the promotion code SafeXNews when you're registering your account, you will be given $10 worth of credit to your account. Uh, I'll also assume that your graphics card is an NVIDIA 10 series graphics card or an AMD RX series graphics card and you have also roughly around about one hour's worth of time. So I mentioned that you might need $10 worth of Bitcoin, I'll explain why. So on Hive OS, there is a free version but you're limited to three workers and it has limited features. To get the best out of your mining rig, I do recommend that you go for the personal package here and it is $3 per month per rig. So that is your entire mining rig, the actual computer itself, not per graphics card or per um, uh, processor, whatever. It is per an installation of Hive OS, uh, the entire rig itself. So it's $3 per month uh, and you can pay with Bitcoin and there are a few other uh, cryptocurrencies that they accept as well. Uh, but as I mentioned, if you use the promotional code SafeXNews or the promotional link that I have in the description, uh, you will be credited $10 worth. The next thing you need to do is to download the latest version of Hive OS. Now there are two versions that you can download. You can either download it through BitTorrent or you can download it as a zip. It is several gigabytes in size so I'll let you discern which is the best method to download that. It's going to take a while, so whilst you're waiting for that to download, go and download your late, the, your preferred uh, imaging software. I will be using Etcher, and it's just, uh, I'm not even going to pretend to even know how to pronounce that. Balenza, maybe? No, no. Balena. Balen, whatever that is anyway. Um, just go on Google, search for Etcher, uh, flashing utility and you will come to this page, download the Windows or whatever operating system you're on, and then install it. By that time, you should have the Hive OS download done, uh, but if not, take this opportunity to register an account. So on the main page, just click Start Mining. My internet connection is a bit slow at the moment. And then it will bring you to this page. Fill in the relevant details, the promo code here, uh, put SafeX News, and as I said, you will be given uh, $10 worth of credits to use. Uh, it'll also, in, 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 in complete transparency, I, I believe it gives me a little bit of a kickback as well. I'm not sure exactly why it is, but we both, we both benefit from it anyway. So once you've gone through that and registered, your download should be done by now. Uh, the download of the Hive OS. So we'll now move on to imaging your USB drive. So the download is completed. I've extracted the Hive OS image from the zip into my downloads folder. And I've already put my USB stick into the computer. So all I need to do now is to load my Etcher software or whatever software that you're using to uh, write to your USB stick. I'm going to select the image, which is Hive OS here. This is the one I've just extracted. Open. Select the USB stick that you want to install on. And then you press flash. You may receive a command, prop, a command prompt um, message. Just accept it so you can continue and install. 
There you go. This would take about up to about five, ten minutes, depending on the speed of your USB stick. If it's a USB 3 and you've plugged it into a USB 3 port, it might be a lot quicker. If it's an older generation USB, it, it may take a little bit longer. But uh, if you give yourself around about ten minutes for this to completely flash, and then it will take a, a few minutes more to just confirm and make sure the integrity of the drive has uh, gone okay. So I, I will continue the video once this is done. So by now, your USB stick should be flashed with the Hive OS operating system. Um, so now we need to pre-configure it so that when you boot up onto this USB onto this operating system, you auto connect to your Hive OS account. Now to do this, you should have a new folder here called Hive. If you double click it, you'll see that there's a few files here, and you've got rig config example.txt. Just remember that and we'll come back to that in a second. So by now you should have also had a Hive OS account created by now uh, and you should have a default farm. It's normally your username and the word farm and it will be just up here. If you use the SafeX News referral link uh, you should, or, or um, referral code which is SafeX News, you should have a $10 balance added to your account as well. So if you click that, you now need to add a worker to your account. And to do this, we simply go up to here, press the plus, and then we click Add Worker. Now we enter a name for this worker, so I'm going to call this my main mining rig. Give it a password, save x123. I don't use that password for anything else, so don't try it. Um, you can add a tag as well if you think you're going to have multiple workers. You can have different tags for each worker so you can keep control and keep track of them. You can also add a little description, I'm not going to bother here, and then you press add. Now if you remember that little text file, which I mentioned earlier, this rig config example, you double click it, it will then give you uh, a load of text and some areas that you need to fill in. Now if you see here, uh, you have the installation guide, if you, if you want you can read through that as well. Um, but this is the code that we're mostly interested in. So it's the farm hash. This is a unique hash code that's unique to your account in your miner. So if you copy that and you paste it here, farm hash, paste it there, and then you're done. Alternatively, you can use the rig ID and the password. So rig ID and the password, and also give yourself a worker name if you want. Um, as an alternative way of doing this. But if you just do farm hash, it should bypass any of that. Once you're done, save the file and then you'll re have to rename it and you'll see that the file name here is rig.conf so I'm going to rename this rig.conf as well save, yes once that's done, I'm going to unplug the USB stick and plug it into my uh, dedicated miner make sure that you don't have any other hard drives uh, plugged in at the time otherwise it may prioritise booting up to them rather than the USB stick Alternatively, if you know how to edit the BIOS um, and modify the BIOS and select the USB stick as the priority boot, then by all means do that and then you won't have to bother unplugging anything. But for myself, I'm just going to plug, unplug any other hard drives that I have on there so that, that this USB stick is the main boot drive. So I've plugged my USB stick in with the Hive OS image yeah, written onto it into my miner, I've booted up my miner and it's also auto connected to my HiveOS account. So if I go to the HiveOS um, default desktop here, uh, you will see that I've got one green light there which signifies that one of my GPUs is working. This particular rig only has one GPU so this is correct. If you have multiple GPUs it will detect them and mark them up accordingly. So I'm going to click on the farm, I'm going to see my main mining rig here it's obviously showing that it's got a low hash rate because there isn't any uh, mining going on right now. If, for whatever reason, it gives this mining rig a random name, just go into the settings and change the name accordingly. If I click main mining rig here, it will give me an overview. It will see that it's detected my GPU, the type of uh, well, the type, of the brand it is, the type of memory it has, and the various other things that are available for it as well. Uh, so we're going to go through some specific um, configurations now to show you how to mine SafeX Cache. So next we now need to configure HiveOS to start mining SafeX Cache. To do that, there's a few stages that we need to follow. 
Um, and to start, we need to go back to our top level farm, which overviews all of our rigs, and we need to create a wallet. And to do that, we click on the wallet button here, we press add wallet, and we select the coin. Unfortunately, SafeX Cash isn't in their default settings, so we have to create a custom one which we do by typing in SafeX Cash, and you click Create a SafeX Cash. The next thing is we need our SafeX Cash address. Now, if you've already used the V7 wallet or the V8, if it's come out um, since this video, or we've used the offline uh, address generator, or we're familiar with the CLI wallet, you'll have this already. Uh, this video isn't going to show you how to do that. It will be there will be another video if you're not too sure, but I'm going to assume you already have your SafeX Cash address. So you paste it into here, and you give it a, a name. So I'm just going to call it SafeX Cash Main Wallet. I click Create, and there we go. The next thing we need to do is to create a flight sheet. Now, a flight sheet is a specific combination of coin, wallet, pool, and miner configuration, which you can use as a one-click. Uh, operation to start mining with. Now we're going to create a, a new flight sheet and we're going to click the flight sheets button here and we're going to add the SafeX cash which is the custom coin that we've already added. You'll see that the wallet has already been added as well and we need to select a pool. So for this particular coin we configure it within the miner. Now we have the miner option here and I'm just going to go with XMR stack which is an all-round um, um, miner, um, which is compatible with NVIDIA, AMD and CPU mining. So then you click XMR stack here and then it will it'll prompt you to set up the miner config. So here we go. So for the miner fork we just keep it the same. Wallet and worker template, if you ever want to know what these mean just highlight it up here and you'll have the option here to just copy a template. Uh, or you can click them or whatever you want. So I'm just going to delete that and I'm just going to click wallet.worker name. So this basically is what is submitted to the pool. So it'll be your wallet address dot and then your worker name. And we'll get onto that in a minute. Now you need to put your pool URL. Now of course I run the SafeX News mining pool and you can get this, the, uh, the configuration settings from clicking on the start mining button. And you'll have pool.safexnews.net. Uh, alternatively, you can just click on XMR stack here and um, copy this address here. Because you're using HiveOS, I'm going to assume you have uh, more than one uh, GPU to use. So you select the most appropriate GPU uh, port based on your GPU. So I'm just going to use port 555 here. So it's pull. One second. Pull safexnews.net and then the port and then the password. The password is basically your device ID or the name or whatever you want to call it for um, for your pool. It, it, does, it isn't actually a password, it just uses the password as your identifier. So I'm just going to use Hive OS. Now on the subject of pools, I also want to show you a number of other pools that are available. Um, the, the concern is, is that too much concentration on the SafeX News pool means that uh, the other pools don't get a looking at and it just creates unbalanced, an unbalanced network. So the three main pools here, in no particular order, that I want to highlight as an option for you as well to configure your Hive OS. So you've got CM pools, um, you have the uh, CryptoMiningPools.net available there as well, and you also have CoolPool.net as well. Um, which are all available. Now each three of these members are regular members, uh, each three of these operators, operators sorry, are regular members in the SafeX Discord. They spend a lot of time uh, supporting the community, uh, helping miners to get their uh, rigs configured properly so that they can uh, mine properly. So do please take these guys into consideration as well. There is a, a top level pools page as well on the tools.snafxnews.com uh, .net sorry, uh, page that you can go on and you can have an overview of all the pools uh, but these are three that I want to highlight as well uh, given the opportunity to just uh, show you some alternative pools as well to the SafeX News pool. So once that's done 
Um, there's other things that you can do. Uh, these are more advanced configurations, um, which you won't really go into in this video. One thing that I do need to highlight though is you need to set a specific setting within your config override and it's this configuration here. It's in quotations currency crypto knight underscore v8. I'll leave that in the description. Uh, a few weeks ago SafeX Cash migrated over, uh, hard forked over to the crypto knight v8 uh, algorithm. So the default algorithm which XMR stack normally uses won't be compatible with it, so you need to override the configuration so that it works with that. Okay, so once that's done, you click Apply Changes and then Create Flight Sheet. Once that's done, you then find your flight sheet here and then if you need to you can edit, you can duplicate, if you uh, duplicate it if for example you want to have a flight sheet for all of the pools that I've mentioned above. So once that's done go back to your mining, mining rig within the workers tab and then we are ready to go. So flight sheets and then you literally just press the rocket here and this uh, the Hive OS interface will then send the configurations, everything that you need to get your mining rig started to mine. So it'll, I'll give it a few seconds to just send that configuration over and I will continue the video again once it's running. So my mine, mining rig has kicked in now. Uh, it's starting to mine. I can tell by the numbers that are appearing here, 442. 447 and 49. Uh, this signifies that my mining rig is now running uh, and as you can see there I have almost a thousand um, kilohash worth of hash rate um, currently mining. So that's pretty much it. Uh, between this video, uh, between these two scenes, sorry, I did make a little mistake with my uh, address. I typed in the wrong address um, but I was able to find that by clicking on mining app, minor actions, and then clicking minor log. If you give it a few minutes, and then a link will appear here, and if you just scroll through the log, it will then tell you what errors have appeared. So that's pretty much it. There are more advanced features that you can start playing with, such as uh, when to kick in the fans. Um, there's also a hash rate watchdog, so if your hash rate uh, drops below a certain amount, it will automatically tell. It will automatically reset your mining software to um, uh, restart, so that you can get your original hash rate back. Uh, there are also other features in terms of being able to uh, remote do remote commands um, and lots of other things as well. But that's not for this video. Uh, there is also tuning as well and overclocking. But again, there are other videos which will help you to do that. This is simply just to show you how to configure configure Hive OS to mine SafeX Cache. So I hope you found found this useful. Uh, of course, if there are any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment section of this video. Alternatively, we also have uh, the official SafeX Discord which you could jump on and there is a mining dedica dedicated mining channel that you can access to ask the relevant questions. So good luck with your mining, I hope everything goes well um, and I will see you soon.